Hi, my name is Ava Kolker and you might know me from Sydney to the Max on Disney Channel. You know the best part about your dad owning this place? The free smoothies. <laughs> Brain freeze. Brain freeze! <laughs> Still worth it. <laughs> you know what, Olive? I've been thinking about my dad. There's no way he's not lonely. Whoa. Do you see what I'm seeing? That woman is totally flirting with your dad. And he's totally not flirting back. Look at him, he's clueless. Come on, man. I got started acting when I was four years old, and it was actually, like, not even that planned, or it wasn't really that purposeful, I guess. My parents met somebody, and he was like, let me manage your girls. I'll send him out on a few auditions and see what happens. And I ended up um, booking my second audition I went out on, which was really cool, which was for American Horror Story. And then after that, I got a movie. So I did a movie as Kate Beckinsale's daughter, and then I did a movie with Katie Holmes, and then Scary Movie 5, and then Girl Meets World. So it was just like boom, 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 boom. I mean, there is so much rejection in between that. It sounds like it was really fast, but if I did, if I got one role, and let's say it was a month apart, I could have done 60 auditions in that month. Like, right. you don't know. Right. So it was definitely a lot of work, a lot of lines, a lot of practicing, and a lot of driving. This is for the ones who make me who I am. They sing like peanut butter when I'm in a jam. Talk about it. This is for the ones who always keep it real. Only family and friends on my Ferris wheel. Talk about it. I did musical theater for about four years. I did seven musicals. So I've always loved to sing and dance. And I have already released a song called The Good Ones, available on all platforms. And I'm going to be releasing a new song very soon. My songs are always, I mean, of course, there's always going to be ups and downs in life. But my songs are about focusing on the ups, especially the song I recently released called The Good Ones. It's about when people put you down or when people aren't real with you or when they hurt your feelings or are mean or whatever you're going through. Just focus on the good ones, the people who love you and who will have your back through thick and thin. That is basically what that song is about. So it's talking about both. It's saying how I know that people hate on you and that they're mean. And if they're not, well, then you're that's amazing and I'm very jealous of you, but just to always focus on the positive, no matter what the situation is. My family is really, really, really close, like unimaginably close. We love each other so, so much and we're kind of just like a supportive cult in a way. Like it's just support here, support there, support here, support there. So I'm really grateful for my family and my little sister, yeah, she's an, also an actress and there has been competition before many times so we're very supportive of each other and we're always happy for each other even though sometimes it might be a little tough because we really wanted that role but we're always happy for each other and whenever the other person wants them on set like sometimes I'll be like hey Lexi like could you come on set maybe after school today and she'll be like of course Ava so we're super close and I'm so grateful for my parents and everybody else in my family. Kathy it's okay I saw the cliff I know what home means. <laughs> I think in life there's always going to be hate, there's always going to be bullies, and I think that the younger you can learn to deal with it, the better. I think I started doing Instagram very young, but my mom has monitored it very well for me, so I haven't really seen a lot of hate until 
recently where she's like, I just want you to like be prepared for when you're older. Like there's definitely some hate on there. So I'm allowed to have Instagram on my phone. So if I ever go on and see it, like of course, I'm used to that by now. And I think you just, if you have confidence in yourself and if you know that you just have to tell yourself things about the person. Like they're jealous or they don't have anything else to do or they just, they're hating on me for no reason. Like what they're saying is not true, then you'll be fine. I think you'll be good. As long as you're confident in the inside, then you'll be good. So I'm currently working on season two of Sydney to the Max and we were recently picked up for a third season, which is so, so exciting. So I actually just came from set. So we have been finishing up season two and I am so excited for you guys to see it. Oh my gosh. I'm very excited to see it myself because we put a lot of hard work into the show and I'm just, I can't wait for you guys to see what we've done with it. So for fans that don't know, tell us a little bit about Sydney to the Max and what, and what your character is on there. So I play Olive on Sydney to the Max. The storyline, I'll give you it in like a little spiel. Um, it's basically about a 12 year old girl named Sydney and her best friend Olive. Um, they're going through middle school right now and it, Sydney lives with her single dad and her grandma. And it's basically about how Many people, especially in middle school, they go through a lot of challenges and like learning who you are and learning new things about yourself. And whenever Sydney and Olive get into trouble or Sydney gets in a fight with her dad, she'll say like, you don't understand me, like you don't know what you're saying. And then there'll be a flashback of Max, her dad as a kid, saying the same exact thing to his mom. So they're very similar scenarios, which shows that us and our parents are really not that different. Well, saying that you're not that different, I see Olive, and the character reminds me of you so much. How much do you put into Olive? I feel like and if you were in Olive or and like could live in the same universe, would you be good friends with her? Oh, I love this question. I think Olive and I would get along pretty well. I think that she is, we're very different, but very similar in a sense, I guess. I feel like it's been kind of easy because I've grown into her. I feel like at the beginning we were completely different and now we're kind of like more similar but not super similar. So I think Olive and I would definitely be friends because she definitely has some traits that I like and she's just such a cool character to get to portray. I am Ava Kolker on all platforms, A-V-A-K-O-L-K-E-R. Hi, my name is Ava Kolker and you've just been buzzed. <laughs>